we've actually been having a hard time figuring out who did set it, and I was hoping maybe you could help us. Oh. Well, you said you watched Ben take Sierra into the cabin. Did you also happen to see who set the fire? Yes, because people can't see us together anymore, JJ. Alright, I gotta get to work. I'm so sorry. I, I, I hate leaving you like this. It's okay. I'll be fine. I'm, I'm, I'm used to being alone. If there is anything I can do, please call me. Oh, you fell. Those extra antibiotics are really doing the trick, huh? Let me just take a temperature quick. Well, the temperature's normal, so I think you're ready to be discharged. Oh, my God. I'm sorry I wasn't here sooner, but I think you should know that I was called to Bayview to examine your sister. Is Jordan all right? Well, she's had a bit of a setback. She tried to escape. What? Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what happened? Why did she do that? Well, I don't know exactly, but she uh, kept asking for Rave, so I called him, and he's with her now. I did hear her say that she did not set the first fire at the cabin. Do you think she's telling the truth? I have no idea. She was so agitated. Does Rafe believe her? I think you need to ask him. Anyway, um, I'm sorry to upset you. I just, uh, I just thought you should know. So, uh, why don't you addressed and um, I will go write your discharge orders and a prescription for antibiotics. You can pick them up at the nurse's station on your way out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take care. Oh man, if these police believe Jordan that she didn't set that first fire. I'm about to be the number one suspect all over again. I want to talk about the fire. I don't want to talk about Ben. All right. All right, well, what do you want to talk about? The baby. Sorry that JJ said all those hateful things to you. Going to that apartment was not one of my better ideas. 